Tonight, we're learning more about a man who was shot and killed at an apartment complex in Fort Worth's Entertainment District. 30-year-old Carlos Hebert lived and worked at the Mark on West 7th Apartments. Witnesses say he was trying to help a co-worker who was dealing with an upset tenant. A small memorial is growing outside the scene. Fox 4's David Centendry live tonight in Fort Worth with the story. David. Yeah, Heather, the hearts of people at this apartment complex are just really heavy tonight following the shooting death of their maintenance worker, Carlos Ibar, who they believe was also a friend to them. You can see handwritten messages delivered to his family. They were able to read some of those earlier today. One says, Carlos, thank you for being our hero. He reportedly stepped in when another tenant was confronting a woman inside this leasing office. That tenant was reportedly upset about possibly being evicted. Ibar was then shot and killed inside this leasing office. A ton of police cars, so I knew something was up. Flowers, words of gratitude, and sorrow. A memorial is growing outside the mark on West 7th Apartments in Fort Worth, where maintenance worker Carlos Ibar was shot and killed while reportedly trying to protect a woman Friday. A couple weeks ago, I turned to my husband and I was like, Carlos is literally always here. Like, does he ever go home? Because he was just working so, so much. Tenants like Christine Finkel, say Ibar, who lived on property with his son, was always willing to lend a hand. It's just heartbreaking to think he went into work thinking it was a normal day and never left. Fort Worth police say 29-year-old Devin Smith, a tenant, was upset about paperwork delivered to his unit. Neighbors tell Fox 4 it was eviction papers. Smith allegedly confronted a female employee in the leasing office. That female called Ibar for help. And and during the encounter, Smith allegedly shot Ibar multiple times. He died on scene. Everybody considered him someone that they could call, even if he was not on duty. Kelly Poles lived next door to Ibar and his son. One word describes her emotions. Heavy, 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 heavy. And I feel so, so bad for his family and for his son, and I can't imagine. One of Ibar's family members tells Fox 4, off camera, they are collectively grieving and hope to share more about the 30 year old later this week. For now, I don't think he had a mean boat in his body, he just treated everyone so friendly. Ones at the complex want people to know he was appreciated. Literally, all he did was work. I saw him every single day. Police located that alleged shooter inside his apartment. He's currently in custody at the Tarrant County Jail, awaiting a court date of May 1st. Heather, I'll send it back to you. Okay, David Centendry, thank you.